Rugby County has attracted national attention. Indeed, the dispute is before the courts. A cross-section of experts on land issues spoke to say ownership disputes will never arise where clear land records are kept by the ministry in charge. Professional, the scenario whereby you cannot tell who owns to us looks very ridiculous. A very clear situation of a record system or a land administration system gone completely haywire. Chance is that we may have a very bogus register. Bogus to the extent that somebody has tampered with the register. If we tamper with that register, we are tampering with the property rights. Land ownership is an emotive issue and has often ended up in skirmishes in some parts of the country. In 2003, the government set up a commission of inquiry into the illegal and irregular allocation of public land to private individuals and corporate entities. The commission that was chaired by Paul Ndungu recommended that all public land that was allocated should be repossessed and restored to the purpose for which they were intended. The Land Act 2012 provides clear guidelines on how to dispose of public land whose leasehold has expired. The land shall not be allocated unless it has been planned, surveyed and serviced. What, is, what the law requires is that first a public notice is issued so that Kenyans get to know that a particular piece of land is available for allocation and the same law requires that this land is allocated through a public auction. In the recent past, there have been cases where huge chunks of land have been subdivided and sold to unsuspecting members of the public only for some parties to spring up and claim ownership. What then should happen in such scenarios? Equity principle uh, worldwide is that third party purchasers of property without any caution, without any warning, they are not guilty of an offense. If the title issued inadvertently deliberately to a second owner is issued through the due process, signed and sealed with all marks by the duly uh, authorized officers, that title can stand. And the owner can sue government. They want the government to move fast and address the anomalies in the land sector to avert lawlessness in future. So it's a register that you go that back. If you tamper with it, you are tampering with the core of property ownership in this country. Kenya would be put in a danger that you cannot envisage. There is no better way of defeating Article 40 of our constitution than allowing, which guarantees our rights to property, uh, by citizens, there's no better way of defeating that than allowing the one ton uh, occupation uh, of property by people who do not have ownership rights, ownership documents. What is emerging from the lands experts is that more needs to be done at the records department and the Ministry of Lands in order to protect property rights and show up investor confidence in the country. Patrick Amimo, KTN, Nairobi.